Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda. I am 24 and I like to talk about books on the internet. Today I am coming to you with my long overdue bookshelf and book cart tour. Now, this is my first time filming this video, mostly because we just moved into a new apartment and I have so much more space and so much more room for my books that um, I just had to wait till we moved here. So I hope that you're excited for this video. Please let me know down below how you store your books and if you have filmed a bookshelf or book cart tour, I would love to watch it. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you like me, please like and subscribe for more videos. I also have my Goodreads and my Bookstagram link down below, so be sure to go follow that. And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so here is my bookshelf and my book cart. So I call this my little book corner as well as the cat tree corner. The bookshelf obviously came with the apartment. It's in the master bedroom. And the book cart I purchased from Target. It is by Room Essentials and it's the bigger, the bigger size in a gray. So I was super excited when we decided on this apartment for a lot of reasons, but I was really excited about this bookshelf because there's so much like so many pictures I want to display and just having my books out I didn't have a place for that in the old apartment so this is it so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top which I call this my classics section so the first book if you can really see it it's to kill a mockingbird by Harper Lee that is my copy that I had in high school when I read it the first time I really enjoyed it and would love to read it again that's just a cute little quote card that I got from a little like local shop that sells really cute stuff. Midnight in the Gar Garden of Good and Evil. I have not read that yet. 1984. I have not read that yet. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I have not read. The Great Gatsby by F, F. Scott Fitzgerald. I have not read that either. I Die For You by F. Scott Fitzgerald. That is his collection of poems that they found after he passed away. Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, The Essential Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I love Edgar Allan Poe. We read a lot of him in high school. Beautiful and the Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Little Women, which I'm currently reading, but I just put it back up for the purpose of this video. These are the Barnes and Noble editions, um, which I've never really minded, but I would like to get a prettier copy of Little Women. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and then Homer's Iliad and the Odyssey. Most of those I have not read yet, so I'm really excited to get to them. Right here is not really a, a book part of my shelf. I mean, I have the Bible there, but um, I have a little postcard of Audrey Hepburn. This book that was a gift from Austin. This picture of me and my family on my 15th birthday that they took at the restaurant. These little bookmark stickers, Scarecrow, Dorothy, and the Cowardly Lion. I got this from Barnes & Noble, I thought they were really cute. They kind of rip weird though, so I don't know if I'd recommend them. A little chicken that I gave to Austin for Valentine's Day one year. And then the first photo that Austin and I ever took together. And this, was, this was like October of 2018. And now moving down to this shelf. Right here I have the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, which if you watched my last video, which was my May wrap up in book haul, I'll link it down below, you'll know that I have been reading. Christine by Stephen King, which I have not read yet. I call this like my Stephen King horror science fiction shelf. Stephen King Salem's Lot, which I read last month. The Shining, which I have not read yet. Revival, which I have not read yet. It, I have read it, my favorite book. Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and his son Owen, I have not read that. Rose Matter, I have not read. I heard this one's not, this is not one of his more popular ones, but that's okay. Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. I really love this book. I have a whole book vlog on it. If you want to go back on my channel, you can find it. Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere, which I have not read, and Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, which I have read and I really enjoyed. I think my boyfriend wants to read it next, which I highly recommend because it'd be something that he'd like. And then down here, I'm not going to move, um, move it, but there are some library books back here. I have uh, where the Crawdads Sing, which I haven't read yet, Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, Doctor Sleep, two Sophie Kinsella books. This is a beautiful com composition of Broken, which is a poems book. An Influencer Building Your Own Brand book that was a gift. Shadow of Night, which is the sequel to 
Discovery of Witches, which if you know me, that is not my favorite series, but I still bought the second book. Love Lettering, which was an arc that was sent to me, and Wild Embers by Nikita Gill. Then I have this really funny little thing that I got a while ago. I like it a lot. And then this is Fingerprints of the Gods by Graham, Graham Hancock, which my boyfriend expressed that he wanted to read, so I got it for him for Christmas, and he still has not read it yet. Spinster, Making a Life of One's Own by Kate Bullock. This is like an autobiography that was lent to me. This is my boyfriend's Millionaire Success Habits, Discovery of Witches, Behind Closed Doors, and then a little book called Understanding Rap, Understand Rap, which I got from Urban Outfitters forever ago. So that is the built-in bookshelf portion of my book collection. Now let's move on to the book cart. So admittedly my book cart is my favorite part. Kind of organized it the way that I want to and I mean I guess it's the same with my bookshelf but I like this the best. So right here is a photo of me and my close friend from high school Morgan. This is a beautiful edition of Peter Pan that I got from Barnes and Noble. I just think that this is so beautiful. Peter Pan is my favorite Disney movie of all time. I mean, look at this. They have a whole bunch of these editions. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. But Peter Pan was the one that I wanted and it was like 10 bucks, which I don't think you can really beat. And then behind that I have my pink Polaroid camera as well as this oh, historic Tredegar Ironworks, which is a location in Richmond, Virginia. It's a postcard that I had framed in my old bedroom and I just brought it with me when I moved. And with Austin, right here is a like cityscape of Richmond at, looks like it's like dusk, evening. Um, I just love my city, so I thought that was pretty. I'm gonna frame that. So right here are books that I have not read yet that I want to get to. So first I have um, Anne, Anne, Anne Rands, on Rands, I don't know how to say the name. Um, Capitalism, The Unknown Ideal, and Atlas Shrugged. These were given to me at a luncheon I went to in college for free, so I have them on my shelf. Don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff. This was a birthday gift from my boyfriend. I don't know what he's trying to tell me, but I still really appreciate it and have read a little bit, but I want to read more. The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. An Unquiet Mind, Memoir of Moods and Madness. This is about a girl who, a woman who struggled with bipolar disorder her whole life. Hardwiring Happiness by Rick Hansen. The Man Who Broke Into Auschwitz. The Fuck It Diet. Eating Should Be Easy. This is a little poems book that a friend lent me and she moved away, so I don't know if she plans on ever getting that back. Heart Talk. November Road by Lou Burney. The Haunting of Ashburn House. Lucifer Effect, why, this is like, why good people do bad things. I'm very interested in psychology. Gabrielle Bernstein's May Cause Miracles. This is kind of like a workbook to get your mind right. I started it and I got to day like 20, but I stopped, I need to do it again. And then this is a notebook that I got from Target that I use for my YouTube ideas. Oh, goodness gracious. Little Fires Everywhere. Beach Read by Emily Henry, My Dark Vanessa, which I've already read, but I just thought it looked good here. You're Not Special by Megan Ranks, who was a who is a YouTuber and an actress, and then another Bible that has a letter in it from my brother when I went to college, which is really special to me. Down here are books that I have already read, but have held on to. So this is the mass paper mass paperback version of Barry. Please calm down. Game of Thrones, as you can tell, it's very well loved. Some water damage. All the Light We Cannot See, which, he, which is a historical fiction book. It won the Pulitzer Prize. It's beautiful. If you like The Nightingale or you just like historical fiction, that's gonna make you feel things. And if you cry, then I highly recommend that book, as well as The Book Thief, which is a classic. Um, both tearjerkers, both very touching and emotional. George R. R. Martin's A Clash of Kings, which is the second book. My boyfriend has a whole set of these. Hi, Barry. Has a whole set of these um, somewhere at his mom's house. And so instead of like continuing to buy them, I would like to find those and not have to buy these $30 hardbacks, even though they are very pretty. I have Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk, which I, I really enjoyed that. 
it's a little different but i enjoyed it the girl with the dragon tattoo i enjoyed it but i'm not going to continue in the series i feel like <laughs> oh a mascot i feel like it was fine as a standalone for me this is my favorite book growing up and i'm holding on to it in case i'm ever lucky enough to have a daughter and i want to pass this on to her this is like quintessential preteen material it's are you there god it's me margaret by judy bloom i just love this book maybe the girl's 12 in it so maybe you wait till she's about 12 or 13 but ugh, i mean just the best judy bloom just just got me i have the first two harry potter books um i had to go out and buy these because i had them when i was younger but i think they got thrown away um i've read both of them i've read the whole series but I've been rereading them. The Ultimate Web Marketing Guide. This was a college textbook and they wouldn't buy it back. So I hold on to it because I like digital marketing. I work in it. This is a like coffee table book. Hey, calm down. Coffee table book of like the world's most interesting monarchs throughout history, kings and queens. And I got this from Barnes and Noble. They have like the best coffee table books there. And I'm just obsessed with monarchies. So these are both first editions, which just shows you how crazy I was. I remember calling my mom from the garage phone of the big house I lived in when I was like, however old, when this was the first edition, and begging her to pick this book up for me on her way home from work, and I loved it. So, Order of the Phoenix, Deathly Hallows. I never owned a Goblet of Fire or Half-Blood Prince. They checked them out from my library. And then, but obviously I have the seventh book and then George Bush's decision points. So that is my bookshelf tour. I have a lot of eBooks, a lot of books on my Nook, um, way more than this. And then I've checked out a lot of books from the library. So I've read a lot more books than this, but yeah i hope that you enjoy this thank you so much for watching my bookshelf slash book cart tour i thank you so much for tuning into this video please subscribe for more from me and i will see you next time bye